I'm standing in Midtown Atlanta amidst the high rises with a group of people tilling a small patch of green that's destined to be a community garden. This is just one of the many activities that's happening around the nation today that's part of the U.S. Green Building Council's Green Apple Day of Service. Suzanne Harther is the USGBC Georgia Chapter's coordinator for this event. Suzanne, you got a great turnout today. We sure did. What's the mission for the Green Apple Day of Service? The Green Apple Day of Service is a program to try to get the communities involved in greening the schools. So the schools don't have to worry about doing this all by themselves. The goal is 3,000 programs that are happening throughout the nation today. This community garden is going to teach the kids about biology, then also provide lunches for them. They are planning on taking the food from this and directly taking it into the lunchroom. So we're real excited to see how that's going to turn out for them. We want to teach the kids the importance of green schools, that anything that they do, it doesn't have to be a big um, project, it can be a small project, but everything makes a difference. Get involved, take a step, and one step leads to another one, and all the way into their cafeteria. But the garden will provide for more than just school lunches. How is this garden here tying into an educational opportunity for the classroom? Well, actually right now we just started our ecology unit. The students actually get to learn how bacteria breaks things down in the soil. They can test the pH of the soil. My goal is to make learning fun for the students, um, especially biology is very hands-on. So I'm very happy with not just the progress today, but the student participation overall. participating in the Green Your School project, so it's not just one day of service, it's for the entire year and ongoing. Starting today, they are going to be measuring what they're doing with the school, and we're going to be working with them for the next six months and having the kids develop a project, and they will be measuring their success, and in the end in March, they will be presenting their success and be able to see what has happened from their project. And part of the measurement for the Green Your School program is um, how they're going to perpetuate the project, that it needs to not only go through the six months, but it needs to have a, a plan for how it's going to be sustainable. This is the beginning. It's not just one day. Um, and some activities are not happening today. We have activities that are happening in the next few weeks. But this is to kick off what's going on, get everybody motivated, excited about what's happening, and to get started in, in doing something for their schools. So often we focus on days of change. Earth Day, America Recycles Day, and the Green Apple Day of Service. But then we go back to our old ways. But lifestyle change takes time. And for these students, combining their Green Apple Day of Service work with their Green Your Schools program project, they'll be planting the practices of a greener lifestyle and growing them for a lifetime. Growing a green life, that's just another easy way to be green. As always, our challenge to you, put your green on one leg at a time. Stay connected by becoming a fan of our Facebook page and help spread the green by sharing with your friends. Greenshorts.com, that's shorts with a Z.